What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video Got another wrestling video for you guys Who is the king of the cutter? Basically the cutter is uh, I guess you could say like a variation of the RKO it's, it's that same type of maneuver but different wrestlers perform it differently and they call it different things like ddp calls his uh the diamond cutter it's it's a variation of the same move it's more known with randy orton's rko as his finishing move a lot of people know it as the rko but it's actually just a, a variation of a cutter we're about to check it out and i'm gonna give my opinion on which cutter i feel is the dopest you know what i'm saying uh, i didn't know more wrestlers use this move so this is this is new to me you know what i'm saying so I appreciate all the love and support on this channel you guys have been really showing love all the new subscribers we're almost at 10k um i just appreciate that so much bro from last year starting the channel around this time to where i'm at now uh it's, it's, it's such a blessing so i love you guys and let's get into it see who has the best cutter That's the classic one. I love that one. That's I'm telling you, man. Classic RKO. He sold that. Just the way his neck hit the mat. He ricocheted some with that shit. Okay, Matt Hardy. Yeah. You know what? The twist of fate is pretty much like a, a very it, it's a it's a cutter. Like you it's it gives that that RKO type of feel, just the motion. He just he he twists into it. I you know what? I never really thought of it like that. That's crazy. Twist of fate, not a bad move. I remember that, bro. Boys was like, how could you? How could you, Matt? What are you doing? You son of a bitch. Night on the job. He's having a horrible night on the job. Oh, well, I think his horrible night just got worse. Hit him with it. Oh, oh, hit man. the axe kick. Oh, boy. Woo. Twist of fate. Oh man, he he really swung on that one. He he swung into that one. Give me that. <laughs> so that sh the position though is kind of suspect, but he sold that shit. He sold that shit. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. How dead the crowd is. Sucks. You ungrateful bastards. You did not know what was coming in the future. I know when these crowds come back, y'all better have energy for everything. Be appreciative, motherfuckers. <laughs> Give me that. Mr. Kennedy! <laughs> you I didn't even know EC3 uh had a variation of that move. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, to be fair, EC3 was buried on arrival at the main roster, and you barely saw him in any matches. So, I, who would really know his moves like that? I he was getting some love in NXT. Okay, I like that. I like that. When you compare it to the Twist of Fate, I like this one better. So far, this is the the best one, even though it's only just been two wrestler shows. I like this. I like how he, he twists them into it. I like that. Those veneers he spent a bunch of money on. Uh-oh. Reese gets caught. That was nice. That was nice. That move could literally get over if they just got behind him. It reminds me like a variation of the F5. Like it's it's I like it, man. That move could literally get over, but they didn't go, get behind the wrestler. <laughs> All right, this is before my time. Mark Miro, 
Y'all gonna have to lace me up. Well, not before my time, but I don't remember this wrestler. Okay. A little bit sloppy there. Well, yeah, this is kind of a little bit before my time. Yeah. Like, this is early 90s. Early 90s. Early to, like, mid-90s, I want to say. So I was a little kid, so I definitely didn't know, like, just wrestlers' names like that. Other than the main ones. I still like EC3's better so far. He's that's the one I like the most so far. This this is cool. <laughs> he sold it. He he sold that at the end. Nah, that was nice. That was nice. Alex Riley. I didn't know he had a form of that, a variation of that. <clears throat> I didn't even know that. Okay. What's Riley going for here? Could this be Alex Riley's signature maneuver? Okay. I still like EC3s so far right now. So far in this video, I like EC3s. This one's dope. This is not bad. What makes the move also better is if the opponent sells it. So. Oh no. Not crime time. I'm gonna be honest with you. That crime time gimmick was so racially like. Like. Racially charged bro. Like why is dude black cornrows baggy jeans and Tim's. Oh my god. And the name is Crime Time. Oh my god, dog. That was so got a little Vince, man. So super racially charged. Alex Riley taking charge. Win the championship. Go back to the home. Look at A-Rye. 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 Look at him put swagger away. That was it was all right. I still like EC3. So EC3 has a, like a nice little motion to it, like a nice little more of a spin to it. RP test. And if he's not out yet, he's about to be. The ones I've seen so far, that was pretty cool. But the ones I've seen so far, it's like they put them on their shoulders. The only one that's not like that is uh, Matt Hardy's. That wasn't bad. I like that one. I actually kind of like this one, too. Because he's like he does an extra rotation on it. It's like he does an extra rotation. You know what? Oh, no. Oh no! I thought he was gonna do it on the barbed wire, uh, barbed wire board. I don't know, man. You know what? I think so far right now, I'm gonna give it to Tess right now. Tess right now is the best looking one so far on this video. I like the extra spin he does before he hits it. So I ain't no Rhino did this move either. Oh, okay. He doesn't like spin into it. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll take it back. In a very physical takedown. Right now, a one man wrecking machine. Yeah, look at Rhino go. Yeah, he kind of just. He, he gets him on top of the shoulder and then he kind of hits the move in transition going down. Yeah. Oh, my. That's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jericho sold that shit too. I didn't know uh, Boba Ray did it either. What? Okay. Wow. You know what? I take that back. Cause 3D is pretty much that. I'm I'm so 
I'm slow. 3D is basically a cutter in midair. Pretty much, I think. You know, yeah, it's a cutter in midair. Yeah, it's, 3D is basically a cutter in midair, except it has someone else helping with it. Close line misses. Back body drops. Yeah, that's basically what it is. You know what? I'm going Bubba Ray. I'm going with Bubba Ray. Well, he might be shaking out uh, his teeth out of his mouth. Only because of the 3D. That's the only reason why I'm going with Bubba Ray. The 3D is just, it's a, it's a classic move. Even though he's not hitting the 3D. Like the full 3D. It's like a, it's a one-man 3D. <laughs> I hope they show it. You got to show it in the clip. I just want to see the 3D. I, I hope they have it in the clip. I just want to see one 3D, bro. Come on. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the commentary team. It's a cutter. <laughs> that point JR was like, that's a neck breaker. It's a cutter. You idiot. <laughs> it's not no goddamn neck breaker. Yeah, I think Jeff does it. Yeah, with his uh with his move. Yeah, with the twist of fate. Pretty much. Just like Matt's. Yeah, pretty much just like Matt's. Jeff knows either. Out moves. Being measured here by Jeff Hardy. Twist of fate again. Zorro. Jeff Hardy. Twist of fate. I mean, if you've seen, if you've seen Jeff's, I mean, if you've seen Matt, then it's, it's the same. It's pretty much. It's, it's literally the same move. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the same move. Like, have you seen Matt Hardy do it? Jeff Jeff will do it too. Are you done? It's so that okay. Now we get into the nitty gritty. DDP man. Now we get into the nitty gritty man. Okay. Oh Jesus. You know what? Very competitive matchup here. Page. Just be I gotta go with DDP so far right now. Only because it's it's DDP, bro. Like it's it's and you see the crowd's reaction when he hits it. Like, that plays in part to the finishing move, too, yeah. <laughs> in the way the wrestlers sell it, too. Give me that. So, for, so right now. Oh, that was a nice one. So, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to say DDP is DDP's holding it down. As the the best cutter, obviously, right now, so far in this video. Give me that. Uh, I think my opinion's about to probably change. Cause it's, I think my opinion's about to change. It changed. <laughs> I should have known Randy Orton was probably going to be my favorite one on here. Only because it's... You know, I tried to, I didn't know which other wrestlers had did it. You know, this, the variation of this move. But when Randy Orton does it, it's different. Now seeing the diamond cutter and then right after that seeing Randy Orton's RKO, it's, it's so fluid. It's quicker than DDP's uh, diamond cutter. Like he, Randy Orton, Randy Orton hits it so quick. Like he's boom. And he gets like this elevation, like he's horizontal in the air. Like, just look at this. Look at this. Boom. Boom. When it gets hit, it's just, give me that. It's like, he's just horizontal in air. Like, it's, it's so nice. Look at that. I hope they have the clip where... 
Monday Night Raw was taken over by the wrestlers and basically Triple H. He was like kind of the guy. Triple H and Evolution was running Monday Night Raw and the other wrestlers took over Raw and they ganged up on Triple H and he hit probably the best RKO I have ever seen him hit. And it's one of the best up there when he hit Triple H, but this is when Triple H had the little lamb chop sideburns going on, and he was begging for his life. Triple H was begging for his life, and you know it was Maven. I forgot who else was out there. It was it was like Maven, Jericho. There were some other wrestlers out there, and bruh, he was begging for his life. Everybody hit their finishing move on Triple H and Randy Orton. They held him up. They held him up. Everybody held him up. He's begging Randy Orton, don't do it. And he hit him with the the height he got on that RKO was ridiculous. And the crowd popped so hard, bro. I hope they have it on here. Please tell me they have that clip. Of course, this is this one right here. Please tell me they got it. Please, I hope they have that clip. That was a good one too. Of course, you know you gotta put this one here. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna put it on here, man. Dang. Dang, man. Dang, bro. I, I really wanted them to put it on there. Damn, bro. I'm actually kind of disappointed right now. Not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm actually disappointed that they didn't put that clip. If y'all know what clip I'm talking about, comment down below. If y'all know what clip where Randy Orton RKO Triple H into another dimension when they finally took over Raw, when they they the the wrestlers made a stand for themselves and said you know what evolution we're not taking this crap from you guys anymore if y'all remembered that clip comment down below that to me was when it and this was we talking about the young randy orton this is right after he left evolution the, he was at this point uh i think he had won the world heavyweight championship and then he had lost it so he was in the feud with triple h and he was a face at this time so comment down below if y'all remember that rko if i had to give the list if i can remember it'll be randy orton ddp bubba ray only because of the 3d test i'll probably go with ec3 i know there were some other wrestlers like rhino and uh matt hardy and jeff hardy but for me those the variations that i've seen in this video that would be my order what would be your order from all the uh, wrestlers that was in this video comment down below as well what order would you rank the cutter would you give randy orton the best would you put him in the middle like i want to i want to get you guys ranking on this so man but hopefully y'all enjoyed that video just wanted to check it out since we did check out some of the best rko compilations i believe last week i wanted to kind of continue the uh the topic of rkos and cutters and stuff like that but i appreciate all the love and support on the channel man if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, more wrestling content is on the way i appreciate all the love and support once again i gotta let y'all know y'all y'all really are amazing and y'all hitting that subscribe button like crazy and i love you guys for it uh more content on the way appreciate y'all kicking it with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace